all have been asking me to do this for the longest time. The longest time I have put it off because I don't like needles. Now my fingers are hurting and I've got the result. So this morning I got up and I decided I was going to do this glucose test that everybody's asking me to do and it came out 133. I don't know if that's good or not. It looked like pre-diabetes. This glucose test that everybody's been asking me to do. Now my fingers are hurting, this finger in particular. And I had a bunch of sugar. I had uh, four tablespoons of sugar and I had uh, bicarbonate. I had the snake, uh, snake juice basically. What is it, bicarbonate, uh, potassium and sodium. I had a little bit of magnesium in it. And then I put another, I put half a liter of water in that and another half liter of apple cider in that. And I waited two hours and I tested my blood sugar again and it was 104. So make that make sense to me. Everybody's like, well, your blood sugar is going to go up if you have sugar and blah, 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 blah. It's just not true at all. And you know, actually, if I had not had uh, beans and stuff like that last night, I don't really think that I don't really even think that it would have been 133 when I woke up today. And plus, I don't even know if I knew how to use it in the first stages. I had to watch instructional video because I'm retarded sometimes. And it's still, after I had this high-ass sugar meal, and I'm out here filming, everybody's like, well, you're going to fall asleep after you had that. But I'm not falling asleep. I am stepping in the hole, though. That sucked. This idea that having sugar is going to cause you to, you know, have your blood sugar spike. I, now, obviously, I didn't have any fat with that. Had I had fat with that, then, yeah, I would have run into some trouble. But I didn't. So that's the one thing that you really have to watch out for. Like, if, you are, if your blood sugar is spiking, you're either, A, having too much protein, or, B, you're mix, mixing uh, fat and sugar together. You can have fat by itself, you can have sugar by itself, but you can't mix the two of them. When you mix the two of them, you have high blood, blood sugar. Now, I did have chickpeas last night, when chickpeas are like 14, I forget, I forget what it is, but it's, it's, it's actually pretty high in uh, fat. So I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm just gonna have like rice or something like that. And I'm gonna test it tomorrow, and then maybe I'll make an update video to that, but I don't wanna be you know, doing updates about this all the time. It seems kind of ridiculous. It's just, as, it's just, the whole thing is so ridiculous at this point of people talking about stuff that isn't legitimately true. What in the world are they doing over there? It's just not true. Do it for yourself. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of pricking my finger, and it really, I mean, I put it on five. I put it on the, I figured if I was going to prick myself, I was going to go full force for it. But I have noticed that since I've been doing this, uh, the snake juice or whatever he calls it that things have been going better actually I went for a walk yesterday and my heart was actually pumping for the first like normally I can't raise my heart rate at all it drives me crazy and I know everybody brags about like a low heart rate but like it's too low like I can you know back in the day when I could run before I had my ankle replaced I could go for an entire run and it wouldn't raise my heart rate at all. You can have sugar and not raise your, my sugar level went down after I had sugar. At a fasting level it was 133. Actually one of them that I took was 141, but I couldn't figure out how to use the damn thing. And one of them was 133, so we're gonna go with that. Maybe I should put 141, because I think that's pre-diabetes. And then I have a bunch of sugar like all I had was sugar today and then after that I had an apple and a bunch of the, those gummies that I get from Trader Joe's and my blood sugar goes down now I had those after you know I took the test but I guarantee if I took the test now it'd probably be under a hundred it makes you more insulin sensitive when you have just sugar now I don't know what's been going on with me maybe I really need to simplify it maybe my body just does not like having a lot of things at one time and I know I've talked about this before I've made videos about this before it's crazy to me like really I mean now I did the test I've got I'll take pictures I'll put it up here I didn't take myself doing it because I don't know I really didn't know what I was doing but now that I do I feel like an expert here's another myth that we've been told all along now I know a lot of people on carnivore when you're just eating straight protein that will actually spike your blood sugar more than than uh, sugar will because your body is turning into sugar because it can't have that much 
uh, protein. It just doesn't have much use for that much protein. They're watching me up there. It's actually a sweet place. Anyway, point of the story. Sugar does not raise your blood sugar level. It actually lowers it. It did for me. I'm gonna keep doing a few tests. I'm not gonna make this a regular thing. But I do know when I was watching that snake diet guy, he was talking about like once it gets below, like I gotta figure out how to change the, how it measures it because I wanna get that at an animal or whatever because it seems like a lot of people use that. I think you can change that on this uh, measuring thing that I got. So I'm gonna change it to that because I wanna get to that level. But he said anything under I think four or five on that is like you're in really good shape. But we'll see, I don't know, we'll see. I mean this is, this is this 30 days that I'm doing this. I really wanna see how low I can get my blood sugar, how much better my mental health I can get, how much of this eating disorder I can get rid of and everything like that. Now. I'm not going to add a bunch of foods. I'm going to keep it really simple uh, for this month. It's, it's mostly going to be rice. I got some potatoes left. I got, um, I got some of them candies. I haven't been buying much fruit because I had a really bad fruit fly issue earlier this year. And what else do I have? I just got, you know, some of the tomatoes and everything that I got from my father. What else do I got? I mean, it's just real simple stuff, just simple stuff, because I don't really like making complicated things, even though I like taking pictures of complicated things. But we'll see what happens. I don't know. Somebody said uh, jokingly that, are you going to make a cookbook? But no, I mean, I just, uh, the, lately, the only thing I've been making is soda bread and rice and stuff like that. Like, but I think I might even cut out the soda bread because I want to see if I cut out the bread and I cut out the beans if my sh blood sugar goes even further down because I, there is fat in beans, especially the chickpeas that I had. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I do. But I've actually felt a lot better. I'll probably be able to see on camera if I look any different. I haven't weighed myself. I completely forgot to do that. I probably should have done that at the beginning of it, but I kind of want to take videos like this. I, I, it's easier just to see it than to weigh yourself. Because even Pritikin used to talk about like you would look different but you would weigh the same or maybe even more because if you're doing like exercise and stuff like that you might have more muscle mass. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I think that's the video. I mean, I don't really know what else to talk about. It's, it, it was, I was shocked actually when I woke up and I, I saw like almost pre-diabetic numbers because all I had last night was potatoes, rice, um, peppers, I'll put a picture of it peppers, uh, beans, corn, but I did make my own hummus, uh, just a little bit of it, uh, out of chickpeas because that way I didn't add any oil or fat or anything like that. I knew what was in it. It was just chickpeas, uh, roasted pepper, uh, a little bit of salt, and some cumin, I think that's all it was. And it came out really good. So anyways, I think that's about it. Any comments, questions down below? But yeah, it's, it's amazing to, uh, now that I have numbers behind this, and like I said, I'm not gonna do this every day because I really don't feel like pricking myself. And I, I'm one of these paranoid people, like I'm like, what are they actually putting in these needles? Because you know, they can lace these things with anything they want to, so I don't know. But that's the video. Anybody had questions about like the sugar you know, I, I get so many comments about like, well, if you have sugar, it's just gonna blah, 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 blah. And then I do the test. I got plenty of energy. I'm shouting a camera and a bridge and I'm not falling asleep. People are like, well, if you have that much sugar, you're just gonna, you're, you're gonna spike, spike your blood sugar and you're gonna fall asleep and be in a coma. Now that kind of does actually happen with rice for whatever reason. Uh, I, I am going to try to keep the starches as low as possible until nighttime and just see how this goes. I kind of want to keep it almost like a liquid sugar diet until nighttime, but I haven't been able to do that 100% because I have been adding apples and a couple other things into it. And like I said, four or five times now, I don't know what else to say about it. It's as simple as it gets. And yet, you know, that's the one thing that Walter Kempner said is the diet was more fun to talk about than actually do. And it is. And it's true. And that's the video. There's so many things. I like get distracted pretty easily. I'm like watching everything going on here. It's usually why I film out in like the countryside, because otherwise I get distracted. Look at these fake ass clouds.
Oh, this is so disgusting to me. Anyway. I think that's it. Talk to you in the next one. Anyway, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe. Peace.